Greensboro is home to many things, home to textiles and the denim icons who mainstream the casual wear. Home to civil rights and the Greensboro Four who sat down for justice. And it's home to great patriotism, service members who fought and died in World War II. And on this Veterans Day, WFMY News 2's Megan Manleras takes us on a journey just down the road. She found the unexpected place keeping Greensboro's heroes alive. In the shadow of the sounds of the future generation <laughs> is a quiet portal to the past. The Pearl Memorial Fieldhouse at Grimsley High School is not just a football locker room, it's a window to history. Kind of basically just got forgotten about and it was used as a storage room. And when I got here and got the job, I said, man, that's, there's too much history here, it's too important to too many people, the story needs to be told. So Grimsley Athletic Director, alumnus, and former Washington Redskin Ethan Albright felt a calling to restore the school's old memorial room. The flags, newspapers, and pictures preserve a snapshot in time, a time when Grimsley was Greensboro Senior High School, a time when students fought not for trophies, but for freedom. Our kids get to go play a football game. Those kids at the same age died in battle. These kids, 99 Greensboro senior students and alumni on the Memorial Room's Roll of Honor. It denotes neither straight A's nor extracurriculars, but valor and sacrifice. They all went to war. Not even one came home. But it just intrigued me that, that those 99 uh, brave souls went off and many of them Many of them, some of them quit school, they didn't even graduate. Their lives were snuffed out in the prime before they even reached the prime. Local veterans columnist Harry Thetford heard about the role of honor and couldn't forget it. He started to research and write a book, putting a face to each name to resurrect each story from the grave. I felt uh, unsure of myself the whole project, but every now and then I'd run across somebody with first-hand knowledge, and that was encouraging. Somebody like 98-year-old Dr. Edgar Marks. And I was in the second or third class here. His memory is sharp, and he recalls the day that changed their lives. December 7, 1941. Mm -hmm. I was in a car and hitchhiking from Greensboro to Durham to Duke. And when we got to Duke, we didn't have a radio on. The fellows were running around like crazy. And that's when I found out that there was Pearl Harbor. Uh, we went in at that time, almost immediately enlisted. By then, Marks was a medical student at Wake Forest University and awaited his army assignment. Meanwhile, his childhood best friend, Herman Sigmund Seelig Pearl, deployed overseas. And I received a letter from him in March of 1945, which told me what he was doing. And he said, do not tell my parents, because he, his job was to go out in the battle and bring in the dead. And apparently he was already dead when I got the letter. The letter had special instructions. He said, you stay there because I'm going to need you. <laughs> I still cry. 98. That's okay. Let it go. Pearl's name is now immortalized on the honor roll, a column away from another young classmate, Pernell Kennedy. I mean, as soon as he did, there was going to be a war that he wanted to be a, 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 on an airplane. E.D. Kennedy yeah. remembers her brother-in-law as a brave navigator who guided his team back to base when enemy fire hit the aircraft. It was a crash landing. Everyone on board was incinerated. Do you remember your husband finding out about oh, his brother? It was heartbreaking. He knew that his brother was going to be in Italy as a navigator on a B-24. And he was so excited because they would be able to get together for the first time in about three years. Yeah. And then the next message he got was that his brother had been killed. For decades, only her memories and a box of letters preserved Pernell Kennedy's story until now. And among this list of heroes is another name with deep roots. There is Albright on the list. Yeah. That long history at Grimsley with Albrights is, uh, it's there.
And Ethan Albright makes sure his athletes never forget their predecessors. They enter the field for every game through this room. This room represents families that when the country had a need, Guilford County Schools and Greensboro Seniors stepped up. But my brothers and I didn't go fight a war because they did. Your kids don't have to fight a war. My kids are at home and healthy. Because somebody else made the sacrifice that needed to be made at that time in our country's history. And I'm very grateful. Grateful for the people who vowed always to remember. I feel sometimes if I don't do it, who will? He was my best friend. I can't help but cry. And grateful for survivors whose pain preserves honor for generations to come. In Greensboro, Mega Malaris, WFMY News 2. Before his death, Pearl encouraged Marks to stay in school. Marks did and became one of the first doctors to practice at Moses Cone Hospital.